the theme under the Internet Support Program. Mr. Speaker, today I stand before you not just as a representative of the people, but as a passionate advocate for the dream struggles and hopes of our fellow citizens. I want to share my heart and soul to express my deepest emotion and to shed light on the monumental social agenda that our government is embarking on. An agenda that reaches into the lives of ordinary citizens across every corner of our beloved nation. Mr. Speaker, for the past two and soon to be three years, I have been honored to lead the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, and Empowerment. In this role, I have witnessed firsthand the vital role our ministry plays in executing the government's social safety net programs. Mr. Speaker, let me make it abundantly clear that the shadow of COVID-19 still looms large over us. Lockdowns and mass mandates may have subsided, borders may have reopened, but the deep but the devastating, lasting impact of this global pandemic continues to harm our people. So Lucia, like the rest of the world, has not been spared. As a government, and particularly as a ministry responsible for the role of the government social agenda program, value of over $26 million, we are acutely aware that our citizens are suffering, they are in dire need of relief, and of course, Mr. Speaker, we are responding. The pain caused by this crisis has touched not only the rich and the middle class, but most significantly the poor, the low income, and the most vulnerable among us. So what is our responsibility as a government? How do we, as a compassionate and caring administration, reach out to our people and offer them meaningful, tangible assistance? Above all, how do we reignite and spark the hope in the hearts of the solution group? Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking action through the safety nets for vulnerable populations affected by COVID-19 project. This initiative can be crafted by our government with the assistance of the Inter-American Development Bank, i.e. through the Caribbean Development Bank, represent just one facet of the broader 14.5 million dollars loan facility to support various safety nets, safety net projects for our vulnerable populations. It is a crucial process because it ensures that no solution is left behind or forgotten in these trying times. Thousands of other solutions whose work in the informal sector who lost the job due to COVID-19, many of whom never received any assistance from previous income support initiatives will now receive the help we so desperately need. The lady with the small corner shop, the carpenter next door, the vendor, the seamstress, the seamstress, and countless others will finally have access to the support they deserve. Let me emphasize, Mr. Speaker, that the primary objective of the income support program is to provide much needed financial assistance to households and individuals from the informal sector who continue to bear the brunt of COVID-19 challenges but have not benefited from previous cash transfer programs. Once these households and individuals are estimated once these households and individuals are estimated, estimated 5,000 of them meet the necessary criteria, they will receive a one-time payment of $1,500. Yes.
people starting to raise up politics that's starting already, campaigning. Nous avons fait parce que pour un mois qui est venu là, presque 5 000 personnes qui ont reçu 1 500 dollars. Yo, as the minister responsible for equity, social justice, and empowerment, you see you. and as an individual who value the dignity and respect of every human being, I am committed to speaking out and championing the cause of the most vulnerable among us. I am fortunate to be surrounded by a dedicated team of technocrats and staff who share this passion and conviction. We understand that serving uplifting and empowering the less fortunate is our top priority putting our people first too often mr speaker the voiceless among us remain unheard it is our duty those of us with the means to advocate on their behalf providing financial financial assistance is essential but we can do even more by raising our voices and becoming advocates for the less fortunate and marginalized in our society, a function which this Prime Minister has have accentuated in the business of presenting his budget. Recently, I've made this point to distinguish, to distinguish French Q and his club delegation, urging them to use their influence for good. And today, I extend this challenge to all of us in this chamber and to the entire nation to become our brother's keeper and be a voice for the vulnerable. I urge you, urge all of you to advocate for better and more comprehensive support for the nation's most vulnerable, including our children, our young people facing challenges, our differently able population, our older citizens, and our single mothers. This impactful income support program for 2023 underscores our government's unwavering commitment to leaving no one behind in the aftermath of the pandemic. It reflects my ministry's mandate to safeguard the well-being of our citizens. As the, ministry as the minister responsible for equity, I remain deeply concerned about the plight of our most vulnerable in our, in our, in our nation. I witness their struggles daily. I hear the cries for help. I see the challenges not only through my ministry, but also in my constituency office, where I serve as parliamentary representative for Castro Southeast, an area with a significant low income population. Today, I want to say to those individuals, we hear you. We are providing additional relief. Please take advantage of the new support mechanism. Apply by visiting the government of St. Lucia's website, www.govt.lc, income support program. The deadline for submitting Completed application is October 30, 2023. Makadi Lania deadline at Kaivin Boot. Unipo Aleasu Internet class, you Kayue Kupas Aleasu Internet class, Samade Sema Maila Puedo. Lani or Koto Sale Kusafe application. Exchange Nuka Lania deadline. So Ipak Sepale Bayon Kikafe application. Paske Internet la Uwe Putukmun. So everyone is invited to put in their application on that website. The rollout for the income support program commence, on sep commence September 19th and will continue for the next six weeks. Well, well, how we? No buy tout moun laptop, plani laptop a kaila, no buy shak mama ya laptop, ou sa service a ale like ou sa fe application a prison. Mr. Speaker, it's important to note that we will, when the, the time for receiving application comes to an end, then we will assess those who need it most. The application does not ask for your political party. It asks for the situation associated with COVID and how you were impacted as a St. Lucian. And it's on that basis you will be assessed to receive the $1,500. Notice it is not something that is geared towards any group of individuals, but all St. Lucians will benefit. $1,500, $1,600. 
Et moi, changer le premier ministre, là, de dire un bagaille, il te caille baille cette lissière pour Covid en 1500 dollars. Si c'était si le premier ministre, oui, il dit, allez, il dit ça. So, so après, il dit, le premier ministre, mon kawi souve, il y a 1500 dollars. Now, more than ever, our government is demonstrating its unwavering support for the most vulnerable in our society. Now, more than ever, we must unite in this advocacy effort and support our government as it strives to uplift our citizens, especially those who are less fortunate among us. Today, let us be the change we want to see in our nation. Let us become the champions of hope and prosperity for all. Je dis tout le monde qui a coûté bon matin, le gouvernement a montré et qui a démontré à la manière qu'il faut nous mêler avec les gens qui viennent nous mêler avec les gens qui sont pauvres, nous mêler avec les gens qui sont souffert, avec les gens qui souffrent, nous mêler avec les gens qui sont souffert en population, surtout pour la raison de COVID-19, pour que chaque monde perd le travail, avec les gens qui ne peuvent pas mettre les pieds à terre, ils ne peuvent pas vivre comme c'est la vie. Et c'est pour la raison de ça, nous avons fait là à ça là. Changer ça, ça a presque 7 million dollars. 7 million dollars to roll out. And it's only part of a 14 million dollar loan support for vulnerable population. Much less if we had the other 7 million for vaccine. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, if we had vaccine, we would have given them 3,000 dollars. But I'm telling you. Yes, yes. Yes. Si nous tenons la vaccine, nous avons presque 3 000 dollars et 15 000 dollars. Mais nous avons remercié le bon Dieu pour ça. Et ça a fait une différence. Ça n'est pas tout le monde, mais il y a une contribution pour faire la pluie à l'aise pour nous supporter. Nous avons acheté pour faire plus bas pour nous rendre service à la pays. Merci à tous, Mr. Speaker. Nous avons acheté pour nous rendre service à la pays. Merci à tous, Mr. Speaker.